that's hot. That's hot. So the votes are in, and I won the sandcast what? competition. What? So you didn't even make a sandcast. You made a face. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my nose, my nose! Oh, how was that, Quincy? It tastes pretty darn good. The episode that got the most votes uh, is going to be the taco tasting challenge competition. So we need to break into two teams. We realized that uh, Quincy and myself are the only ones with transportation, yeah. so Quincy and myself de facto have to be on opposite teams. We just put Canyon and Christie's name in a hat. And then Quincy and I will draw out of the hat to see who gets who. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Since there's so many restaurants in town and it can be a bit overwhelming, and we didn't want to have a situation where we both accidentally went to the same place, uh, we decided we're going to put 10 names, a random 10 restaurants, we're going to put them in a hat. Each team will draw two. two names out of the hat. The names we draw out of the hat are the places where we'll go. We will each go to our location, buy two tacos from each location, bring it back. So does everyone know their places? Yeah. See you in a, a little bit. I got Rilobertos. I got Agaves. I got Avalar's Mexican food. Yeah, say it the loudest that you possibly can. I'm sorry, can you? I got Del Taco. Vamos a Rilobertos, can I help you? Instead of uh, two beef tacos, Thank you, you Thank too. You. All right, we're at Del Taco and we're gonna get some tacos. Well, uh, one of the two restaurants that we pulled a name out of the hat for was Agavis, and they're not open yet, so we're gonna pull a different name out of the hat. Taco Zilzami. Oh. We need a uh, two carne asada tacos. Avalar Mexican food. Right away, this, this is a Del Taco Del Taco. And the problem with this is like very, very fast food made. So we gotta, no wait, how are we gonna do this? I like your idea of wrapping it in the tin foil. like the uh, the restaurants, right? Like the yeah. Palacio Char or Charo Orioles. What, what type of meat do you guys think that is? Carne asada. This is like a, dude, honestly, this, this is like a roast beef. <laughs> mm, all right, let's have the other ones and then we'll decide. I'm thinking Orioles for this one, huh? I'm thinking of Palacio. But then again, I've never seen, I've never seen, I've never seen yeah. it. Oh, yeah. That Palacio taco is gonna look like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, the tin foil. Yeah. Like I, I don't think either of them have this like fancy bubbly oil. All right, so it's a hard shell corn tortilla. Mm -hmm. This is very much a Taco Bell, mm -hmm. except I know that Taco Bell doesn't look like this. I mean, their hard shells don't look like this. I'm very much thinking that this since. Since I don't think this is Del, or since I don't think this is Taco Bell, I really think this is Del Taco. And I do think they went back to the house. And I... <laughs> you think they rewrapped it in the yeah. foil? I'm thinking that this is Del Taco, and I'm thinking that the other one was. Avalanche. I think this is a Del Taco hard shell taco okay. with the regular ground beef. 
And I think that the other one, the, the more street taco-like taco, is from Avalar's Mexican. I definitely think Avalar's on the first one as okay. well. And I'm torn between Taco Bell or Del Taco, because this is definitely an American taco. So that's your final guess? You guys are the same Del Taco and Avalar's? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. This looks really good. This looks real good. Mm. Okay, over there. <laughs> I think we're gonna die from the heat. Quincy, I think I know where these are from. Where? I think they're from Hanamoto's. The meat is very, very similar to the carne asada fries that I had there. And this smells like Humberto's when I walked in. These are too small to be from El Paseo El Charles, because El Charles and El Paseo are sit-down Mexican restaurants, not like like street taco type. You get what I mean? Well, let's have the other one first, okay? Well, I'm eating that. Okay. Now we're dealing with uh, a heavy Paso. hitter. What? I'm not, a, I'm not a hard taco fan. You okay there? I'm just trying to eat. I have no clue. I think it's another street style. No. Yeah. No. You don't think so? I remember at home birthdays one time, I tried the red sauce. And I went, this is hard. So where are you saying this is from? Where this is think? hard, shelled. <laughs> You've been to El Charles? Yes. I've only had their enchilada. Their enchilada. Their enchilada. I'm going to El Charles. Really? Uh-huh, why? That is the, the enchilada right there. Humberto's first one. Very classic carne asada taste. The red sauce mixed with the meat, mixed with the tortilla, made me think of the enchilada that I had there at one time. For my, the first taco I had, it was carne asada and the meat was a little dry. But that's how I like it. And that's where I think, I think it might be. I'm gonna go different from Kane. I think it's real Berthos. Right, so I'm gonna go real Berthos and then I'm gonna go El Charo. Um, for this just one? Because, yeah, for this one, just because. So you're both going El Charo for the second one? Yeah. What did Kane go for the first? Humberto's. Humberto's and El Charo. Mm -hmm. Should we tell them the answers now? Or? Yeah, you guys are locked in? Yeah. Yeah, locked in. Okay, the first taco was Taco Del Lamy. Uh, oh, dang it! Uh, the second taco was a Roberto. Ah! Uh, no way! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? We're really bad at this. What do you guys think about the tacos? They were really good. I liked them. All of them. Yes, they were. <clears throat> Oh, especially that one I had. Oh, oh, so juicy. Eating the tacos was fun. The challenge was definitely fun. It was, uh, you know, winners. Win. Two for Win. two. But actually, um, we're just saying that because we think we're awesome and we think we won. But, you know, maybe Canyon and Quincy need to be declared winners. So, you guys, here's your chance to vote for which team you felt won this challenge. And then you're also going to be able to decide what the punishment is for the losing team. The uh, first one is a generic hot sauce. It's something that we'll go home and rummage through our counters and find, right? So, something really spicy you have to eat it. Option number two is that you have to eat a fresh habanero. And option number three, we're gonna bring back the agua chile sauce from El Charo's and make the losing team eat some of that. So you can decide that right now. It has to be on the YouTube app on your phone to vote. So go vote now. Stay tuned for a video coming out where you guys can decide what happens in episode four. If you're watching this video, it came out two days ago, so you gotta go to the YouTube channel and vote on it. And then tomorrow we're gonna make it, and the next week it'll come out. Like, comment, subscribe. We love you guys. Peace. Bye bye. Blackout.